what's good guys welcome or welcome back to my channel in case you're new here my name is Casta. if you're returning thank you for always coming back and watching my beautiful beautiful videos i don't know if they're always beautiful let me know in the comment section down below so right about now i'm in a strange place you guys have not seen me here before but you're gonna be knowing in a bit so it's been a minute it's been like two weeks since i did a video here on youtube i definitely missed you guys so so much and i was asking myself when am i going to come back when am i going to come back it's not like i disappeared like for good for good of course not i will not do that again ever but what happened i just took a short break to take a take care of my other dynamics of life like my education first of all guys i want you guys i don't know if you guys have realized by now or i should let you guys know that i cannot multitask seriously like i can multitask a eh, task cooking and doing something else but i cannot multitask some aspects of my life for instance i cannot do youtube and my education all at the same time it's so hectic for me mainly because youtube definitely requires me to give it a very very uh, like my all as well as my studies they require me to give my all all mostly for my studies right now we are in exam week hence a lot of people are actually studying outside but and also hence i have not been uploading videos because i have been studying for my exams not really studying because i've been attending classes but basically i've been revising and just making sure that i have the content because if i don't i'll fail and i do not want to fail i know you guys will not want to see me failing right yeah so basically that that has been it uh, and that's why I have not been shooting videos at all. But then today is a very, very special day. I'm actually trying to turn off this camera. But today is a very, very special day. Reason being, we have some news. Some good, good news. Anyways, before I get there, I actually have a couple of life updates that have been happening in those two weeks that I've not been vlogging. Uh -huh. First and thing, first things first. I don't know if you guys can notice my eyes are micro, hey, micro, <laughs> micro bladed. Let me get the camera closer. I've actually oiled them because the healing time is not yet here, so they were actually micro bladed. They look so so pretty, pretty. She actually did an awesome job. I was just telling myself that I do not like like drawing my eyebrows every other time when i'm doing my makeup because it takes most of my time like it takes so long for me to do my eyebrows and i was like brah let's get some micro blades which i definitely had to research much much about before i got them but it's basically something like a tattoo so it's not like my tattoos are permanent tattoos so these ones are not like permanent they are semi permanent oh the sun please come so my video quality can be good see god <laughs> anyway so today i'm super super happy and excited after getting my micro blades of course i have done most of my exams i only have one paper left which is set tomorrow morning definitely gonna be doing it tomorrow um so for today my papers for today are shoo -shoo, done so right about now i'm in school i'm gonna be showing you guys a quick quick tour of our school i haven't done that before but i'm definitely gonna be doing that uh right now I'm not like gonna carry my camera and do this and show you around no 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 but i'm definitely gonna be telling you guys about our school and in, inserting some cutaways that i've that i'll take as i i go out because i feel like during this week which is exam week i do not want to be someone who's distracting others from you know studying and doing their thing which is it's so unfair right so i'm just like i'm just gonna be picking up a few cutaways here and there just to show you guys and let you in to our school it's been like since i joined youtube it's been like a year and there's not a day when i've showed you guys my school first of all i do not come to school every other day because i'm a distance learner and that's one of the most beautiful attributes of our school it offers distance learning uh classroom learning and also online learning which is amazing and also secondly it's a private university definitely my first encounter in a university was actually public university and baby takes so long to graduate secondly like things are just slower in a public facility unlike a private university also most of the public universities in kenya do not offer distance learning stroke online online learning right so 
in this um course i just didn't want to be around school because i wanted to do a couple of other things in my uh during my free time or whatever so yeah our school is called the kca university kenya before it was a university guys it was actually a college that's something that maybe you will not have known but here i am telling you so before then it was called kenya college of accountancy because it majors on accounting courses or accounting um departments like the accounts they have like cpas and all those accounting stuff that are always offered in universities it's actually next to the road hence the noise i don't know if you guys can hear the noise or my camera is actually filtering that a lot of people in our school have cars can you see can you see that all those are cars all those are cars but i haven't showed you guys the rest of the cars in the other side which i'm gonna be showing you guys of course <laughs> so when entering that's the administration block of the university that's how it looks there are a lot of cars parked outside of course and then yeah so i guess for now we're just gonna go to the welcome center of course there are a lot of cars packed up over here and a lot of students as well so that's our administration block if you have anything administrative you want to come to the vice chancellor's office there everything you just go in there then there are a lot of cars packed up of course the compound is looking real nice as always it's a very very clean space we have like rules in the school where you're not supposed to be dropping things uh, down every other place so that's basically a plus okay so that's how it looks i'm gonna be taking you guys over around and show you what everything is all about we have a huge uh playground of course for us to take part in whatever activities that we will want to do but most students are actually taking this field as a parking right now because a lot of people now are coming to school because now distance learners and online learners the no no only people who are uh, outside of the country are allowed to do online exams so if you are within the country you're supposed to be coming to school to do your exams physically what does that tell you our our school is a world-class university there are students from different parts of the world which is perfect of course during our classes mostly for online classes we always interact with like people from other countries which is super amazing i love it it makes you feel like um a global student you know <laughs> yep because we have a school canteen of course where we can grab some snacks or even food at very affordable prices when i tell you very affordable prices i mean very affordable prices you could find you could catch a meal at less than a, a dollar really like chapati and beans is 70 kenya shillings that's like 0 0.7 you see very very affordable so that's something i love love about uh my school very deeply uh -huh. so we definitely have a library i don't know if there's any university in kenya that does not have a library because also my previous university had a library so a library is basically where you just go if you're not in the mood of studying from home or even classroom you can just go or when you're doing research gosh i had forgotten like some researches that we we are given you have to do like a whole bunch of books research for you to get like the points which you're supposed to be researching on so having a university around the school is definitely a plus we have a gift shop <laughs> it's crazy if you are in school and you feel like you wanna gift someone something you can always like um go over to the gift shop and get whatever you want our administration is very very reliable whenever you go there with problems maybe or issues with your schoolwork or whatever you just have issues with i haven't had issues with uh in school about like i haven't had issues at school so but i know based on what other students say here that it's so like easy for you to be taken care of or for your issues to be sorted out right uh -huh. yeah so basically it's just a beautiful space to be in 
something else another like top 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 you see how like other universities have like uh spaces where you can go study but they are all open just like that you just go and chill and the sun is gonna hit you and all that not our school baby our school has tents all around i mean like all around so wherever there's a seat outside there are tents that are going to protect you from sunlight or rains just in case you're studying from outside because you have a lot of um study areas in the outside coming to our school you can either use your school id or your fingerprint i'm gonna be showing you guys as well so you can just put up your school id and then it's gonna open the door to school or you can just put in your finger to so it can detect that it's you and then that's how you're gonna go in babes that's a, a brief brief um explanation of my school definitely love it a lot and also like studying and everything is just made easier like graduation is easier you don't have to like struggle as long as you're doing what you're supposed to do you're doing your ex examinations you're doing your cuts you're doing your assignments that's all you need to graduate <laughs> so you won't have a lot of blah 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 now nah. on payments or school fees it's not a, an expensive university to be honest bearing in mind it's a private university it's very affordable but the prices are based on the courses that you are taking some courses like mine require practicum others do not require others re require practice like for example teaching requires teaching practice so all that is considered during like uh, setting of the school fees and everything but that uh, does not like uh, limit you from studying because while coming in in the beginning of the semester you can always pay 50 percent of your fees and then you can clear the rest before the exam time which is definitely great uh, um, if you're able to pay your, your fees in full then good for you so that's basically all about my university i thought you guys should know and uh i actually love this school so much in comparison to my previous it's not like i'm comparing but i just feel like life is easier here than in my previous university their customer care service is always on like you can always call them if you miss that if they miss your call they'll call you back which is great i mean like it's so rare you know or maybe other universities out there are always like that just that kenyan standards uh the previous one that i was in maybe the standards were lower so you guys let me know in the comment section how other universities in the world actually are and to the washrooms we go so that's how the washrooms are looking like definitely but let me come closer so you guys can see me of course you have to be very decent when coming around myself i have to so that's the first one if you do not prefer using this kind of toilets of course you just have to push it flush just like that there are some sanitary boxes of course this is supposed to have like some tissues but they haven't refilled them yet which is still okay then that's basically how everything is looking there are a number of them then on this other side we have sinks where you're supposed to wash your hands and of course this one actually has uh, soap as you can see so i'm just gonna wash my hands so you guys can see how we do it <laughs> very interesting and then after that this is the mirror you can definitely look up to yourself and ask yourself Am I looking okay? Yes, I am. Okay, let's move on. So we have an automatic hand dryer. Just like that. So your hands are dry and that's basically it. So that's how washrooms are looking like. Very clean, like I said. It's always a very, very clean space and uh yeah so i'm gonna be taking you guys outside so i can show you the rest of the spaces as we move on like i feel like it's very interesting that this is the very first time that i'm actually showing you guys how my school looks like i have never and today it just crossed my mind
after telling you so much about my university <laughs> let's now come back to the title of the video um if you guys have been watching me closely you know that i went to the village uh two weeks ago two weeks ago i was in the village and i stayed there for some time and in my stay in the village i was actually following up this thing that i'm actually going for today honestly guys kenya um everything like that you have to acquire from like the government in kenya is so hectic mostly when you don't know anyone and when you're trying to follow 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 the right procedures right so it can be a little bit not a little bit to be honest like it can be hectic it can be hectic for sure but when like um there's something that i've just been telling myself lately when the time is right god makes things beautiful like it just happens so apparently this thing i've followed it up when i was in the in the countryside devi actually took me to the offices and we stayed there from morning guys from morning at 8 a.m in the morning till 5 p.m in the evening and we were not attended to at all it was such a bad day we were so disappointed we did not talk about it I'm a person who like believes in sharing news once it's here, not like sharing and sharing. Oh, I'm in the process of doing this. No, no, no. I'm just like, I want to get it or not get it. Then I can give you like the whole information, how it was, right? Or rather how it went. So when we came back, not when we came back, when I came back to the city, I was actually coming to do my exams. So when I left the village, I was definitely very disappointed uh not disappointed in anyone but disappointed in the system i'm just like i mean i spent so much time you know and so much money i had to come back to nairobi because it was on a friday actually and that monday i i was supposed to sit my, for my first exam so i was just like oh i just have to make peace with the fact that now it's not gonna be possible right so i just came around and then i was really disappointed david just told me don't worry we're just gonna figure out what to do we're gonna find a way and all that and i was like hopefully i actually um remember telling my mom you know what i'm so so tired uh, and disappointed it's not like i had applied this thing like a long time ago or anything it was just that same week on wednesday and i set my appointment on friday but i was not attended to one thing about me i'm so so impatient i just always tell myself i wish I could learn how to be patient, like not so patient, but a little bit more patient, right? So I was telling my mom, you know what, I'm really disappointed. I don't know what to do. It's not like it's a necessity, what the the thing, but I was just like, you know, when you want something so bad and you you don't seem to get it, oh, and you don't seem to get it, that's how I was feeling. I was feeling like, why can't I just get it? I mean, like, <sighs> anywho. So I came to Nairobi and then on the next week I sat for my exams, blah, blah, blah. And then on Wednesday, Devi actually called me and was like, I actually called someone, a friend of mine, and uh, you can change your appointment to Nairobi because it was in Kisi. So I was just telling myself after my exams, I'm definitely traveling back to the village to do my application again. So I he told me you can go over to to the cyber or do it on your phone and just change the appointment from Kisi to Nairobi and then someone is going to assist you over there and then I was like cool so I went da 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 that person honestly was just heaven sent to be honest because I went for my appointment on on Wednesday yeah Wednesday at around four not four three sorry at around three p.m and then on friday evening i got a message that this news is out guys it only took three days seriously one thing about kenya is you're gonna make a line you're gonna you're gonna stay in line like there are always long lines to everything anywho i was really happy that it was out already and now i was like why was i even panicking it's not like it was urgent but i just when i want something i just want it so bad that i just can't stop you know and i just panic i'm just like why can't i just get it oh god please i remember like i was just praying every other night please god let it come out because under normal circumstances it takes like a month to three months or even a year 
bruv. Hey. So I was like, okay. So it was out. So today is actually on a Tuesday. Okay? Yeah. So yesterday I I booked my appointment for today because today I was supposed to do just a single exam and I'm done. So it would be easier for me to go and collect it. So I'm gonna be tagging you guys along with me to go over and collect it and share the whole news with you guys. Fam, whenever you're looking into having something or getting something or when you're just hoping to find something, always pray about it. That's one thing that I've realized. If, uh, if you pray about it, God will send the right people and the right, uh, you know, everything for you to get whatever you're hoping for or praying for quickly and even easier, you know. My mom was literally praying for me every other night. Has been actually. <laughs> Until that day when I told her, Mom, I've actually gotten it. I felt so nice and I just feel like this is my answered prayer. And even for you, if you are looking into getting something or you're hoping to find something, best believe that at the right time, you're going to get it and you're going to rejoice in it. You're going to be so happy. Like for me now, I'm really happy. It's actually, um, eh, time is rushing, damn. Anywho, I'm supposed to be collecting. I'm supposed to be collecting at three in the PM. Right now it's two thirty. Dang. So I think from here I'm just gonna go out and pick a motorbike. Uh, straight to school. Not straight to school. Straight to the appointment space because it's not far from my school. Like I said, my school is like so close to the CBD, and um, yeah, it's just easy to access. It's across the road so you don't have to struggle much about you know how am i going to get there or how is everything going to be possible so that's what's up anywho i haven't had anything from morning i'm also feeling so hungry like i've been fighting for my life guys like lately when i'm doing my exams i've been coming to school at around 7 a.m like 7 a.m catches me in school can you believe it it's not a joke I just tell myself like you see how people are always like celebrating on their graduations it's not it's not it's not because they're just celebrating it's because of the struggle you know yeah but i'm proud of myself like all the exams that i've sat for they were fair for me like i would not say that it was anything that i do not know about there are things that i was familiar with which is great just knowing that i did not write nonsense <laughs> yeah so we just uh, my phone is actually almost shutting down it's almost shutting down but i have um another one i always have two phones i have this one here so this is my previous phone the phone that i used to use before i got my iphone i didn't throw it because i was like i love it so much so i hope you guys are enjoying the video if you are let me know on the comment section and guys huh? As in, I'm super, super happy about this news, guys. Like, yo, 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 yo. It's exciting to know that I am going to receive this long-awaited thing. Blessing. It's actually a blessing. This long-awaited blessing today. I'm going to be picking it up. Yeah. So, back from the, from where I've showed you a whole, whole line, we have picked up, we have collected our news, but I'm not opening it unless I'm doing it with you guys. But before that, I've just told myself, mm, let's grab a meal, eat, and uh, just celebrate that small win. And also, I've not eaten today, like from morning, I've had a really busy day, like I said, in the beginning of the vlog. I'm actually seated at a place where we have a view, so that's my view from the hotel that's how everything is booking it's a very calm day because not much is going on really it's a weekday so in nairobi actually uh, during weekdays evening also nothing much is always on so it's just a calm space whatever at all before i talk much let me show you guys what i'm gonna be taking i'm gonna be taking this it's pineapple mint juice perfect perfect it's always like freshly blend it's a blend of pineapples and mint i actually love pineapples so so much extremely much guys like i love pineapples and of course on my plate over here i have let me show you guys 
I have this beautiful rice over here. This is biryani rice and then an egg. This here is an egg, then some chicken, then a little bit of salad over here. I've already started eating my salad and my <laughs> my food because I'm really hungry. But uh, and also I came to town like you saw I was really in a rush because I didn't want to get there late and then and then my appointment is already over and I can't be attended to so I was just like let me hurry hurry yeah I'm staring at cars really I actually love cars so so much but I'm just gonna be eating quick quick and then finally show you guys the great news rather share the great news with you if I tell you I'm not excited and happy, I would be lying 100%. Like I said, it has been a whole struggle getting this amazing thing that I'm gonna be revealing to you guys. But finally, it's here, and um, I'm super happy to actually um, have it over here. I haven't even opened it, as you can see, it's still stapled. I'm just like, I wanted to open it on camera, I just want to feel nice and show me happiness with me guys like i'm super super happy seriously here is our beautiful uh or our great news so i'm just gonna be removing this just like that and then before that i'm gonna be showing you guys it's written the republic of kenya just like that so it's actually something that you have to get from the government of course and as always it's written my name down there if you can see well it's written mary casta gotten a lot of you guys asking me is casta really your name is casta really your name you all can see it for yourselves casta is actually my real real name so here it is opened so we have have our big news in here let me just pick the camera and show you guys that it is premier game take a guess on the comment section and let me know what you think is in here let me know what is in here premier again premier again in a count of one two three yeah. finally we have a passport yeah. Guys, I'm so happy. I finally have a passport. Finally, we have a passport, guys. Like, it's all blank right now. All blank. No. Oh, 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 oh. The picture in here. <laughs> it's not looking good. But still, all pictures in passports and IDs are always not looking that nice. But guys, imagine I have a passport now. I'm so happy and I just feel so nice, so blessed. I hope and pray that this passport is going to take me so many places or I'm going to go with it so many places that I won't even like remember. And I was just telling my friend right now that I know that by next year time like this I'll be getting a new passport because I'll have traveled the world manifesting in Jesus name. And I'm really happy. I just thank God for this. I, I'm so happy. And um, finally, we can start our journeys to the world from Kenya. <laughs> well, this is the happiest day of my life. Like, I feel so nice and blessed. I'm really excited. So that's basically it i just thought i should share this great news with you guys it actually doesn't look bad the photo just that ah, just that i look so serious i don't i'm not used to myself looking like this but it's really i'm so happy i even feel like i want to cry but i'm like finally finally we can travel like we can go wherever we want and just move to wherever so thank you guys like for your love and support even as i pick up this passport i do pray that every that i've ever thought and dreamt of going i will go and every that i've ever like had in mind that i would love to visit i'll visit in jesus name so i'm super blessed i'm so happy and i thank god 100 percent for this opportunity and yeah i can't 
I can't wait to tell you guys Kwaheri Kenya and <laughs> to take you guys along with me to my destinations that I'm looking into going to and all that. But I'm so happy, fam. I'm really, really happy. I just can't believe that this is my passport that I'm holding my own. Hey. My hands are shaking. I'm so happy. But that's it. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, let me know on the comment section down below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and leave a sweet comment on the comment section. Also, do not hesitate to tell me where you will want me to visit as my first destination on my new passport. Let me know on the comments where you would love for me to go or, or to visit as the first destination, like as the first time on my fast force i'll really really appreciate i love you guys so much and thank you for always supporting me ciao ciao